If a bear enters the room, this causes fear in me. Three things happen. First, my body mobilizes everything it has got to prepare me for running away. Then my perception focuses only on the bear. And third, I can't think straight anymore. A fear of bears is rational and makes evolutionary sense. However, fear also happens without any sound reason and in ways that make life more difficult. This movie shows how that happens and what you can do about it. First, how does fear work in the brain? The large, visible, flubby part of the brain is the so-called neocortex. This is where higher thinking takes place, such as language and consciousness. In the front, the brain does planning and inhibition, two functions needed to act meaningfully, to reach goals, and to fade out distractions. Below the neocortex is the limbic system, the so-called reptilian brain. It is not accessible by language and conscious thought. Relevant for us is a roughly pea-sized part, the amygdala, which handles emotions. Let's assume that I have a phobia of squirrels. If I see a squirrel, my amygdala fires. I perceive the resulting activation as fear. Because the amygdala is not accessible by language, telling myself that squirrels are harmless has no effect on my fear. The fear clouds my thinking, especially my capacity for planning. This makes it very hard to act rationally as long as the squirrel is there and triggers my fear. That's why it's hard to tackle tax forms, prepare early for exams or make telephone calls if I'm afraid of those things or to stick to a diet if I'm afraid of failing at it. As we've said, the amygdala can't be reasoned with. However, there are two ways in which the amygdala learns. First, if I run away and nothing happens to me, the amygdala learns that running away is good for me. The fear will now intensify and I will be afraid, for example, by simply thinking about squirrels. Or the fear will spread to animals that look like squirrels. Or to trees, because they could harbor a squirrel. Second, if I don't run away and nothing happens, the amygdala learns that the fear is baseless and the fear will get weaker. Fear will subside if you confront it. That is the foundation of many behavioral therapies to deal with anxiety. In a nutshell, now that you are aware of the neuropsychology, you know the following things. How fear is triggered by the amygdala firing when it encounters a threatening stimulus. Why you can't talk someone out of being afraid, because the amygdala is not open to reasoning. How the fear response intensifies by running away and the amygdala learning that this is good for you. How to get rid of fear, by confronting it and showing the amygdala that nothing happens. Why learners learn and perform worse when they are afraid? Because the firing of the amygdala impacts higher thinking, especially planning and inhibition.